for verb with Freddy's? It's French. Oh. What's a croc monster? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the times Missy Cooper was the star of Young Sheldon. If you're not yet caught up, this is your spoiler warning. You defaced my body with a grammatical error. I guess that's your problem. Why are you are? Number 10. Missy and Sheldon almost learn that Georgie and Mandy are expecting. In this episode, the twins are kept in the dark when Georgie and Mandy's baby bombshell catches the adults off guard. But have they met Missy Cooper? She's super perceptive, and nothing gets by her. What about last night? What about it? They were talking in the garage with the door shut. What's odd about that? Nobody in this house talks. Hmm. What do you think's going on? I don't know. So when the grown-ups start acting weird, she joins forces with Sheldon to get to the bottom of it. Throughout the episode, they come up with an array of possibilities, each more hilariously wrong than the last. By the episode's conclusion, they get so close to the truth. I heard them talking about a baby. Oh my. You know what that means. Mom's pregnant. Exactly. So close, and yet still so wrong. A few episodes later, puzzled by her parents' rekindled romance, the Cooper's sassiest kid finds solace in watching the parent-to-be's endless squabbles. Let's not do this in front of your sister. It actually feels normal. Keep going. And let's not forget, I only lied because you're hot. Oh my god! We don't need to watch a movie about a talking baby, you're right here! Number 9. Father-Daughter Outings while Mary often dotes on Sheldon and George Sr. bonds with Georgie over football, Missy often finds herself charting her own course. So those precious moments she shares with her dad always stand out. What well, sounds fun? I'd like to be taken to dinner. Great. Where? To the fanciest restaurant in all of Texas. They develop a close bond, with George always looking out for his little girl and connecting over their shared interests. Dinner's ready. Five more minutes. She wants five more minutes with her old dad. It was heartbreaking when they started growing apart once Missy settled into her teen years and discovered her father's closeness to Brenda Sparks. However, in season six, we see a glimmer of hope for their relationship. Big Bang fans know what lies ahead, so we hope they get at least one more father-daughter date before the inevitable happens. Please stop saying that. What? Daddy-daughter date? Yes. Okay. What would you like me to call our daddy-daughter dates? You're so annoying. <laughs> Number 8. Bonding with Georgie over homework As mentioned earlier, Mary tends to coddle Sheldon more than his siblings. This may be why Georgie and Missy share such a special connection. Still, we were just as surprised as Georgie when Missy asked him to help her with homework. But we totally got why he agreed. Sometimes I tell myself I only look stupid because he's so smart. Give me the book. Their relatable and hilarious dynamic shines as they tackle the questions together, proving they don't need Sheldon's brilliant mind. I don't see an action word. Neither do I. Georgie, I don't think this is a sentence. I think you're right. Now I just have to fix it. Put a verb in there, girl. And does it get any cuter than Georgie proudly displaying Missy's perfect score in his bedroom? We see these two team up on various occasions, and it's heartwarming to see that even when Sheldon gets most of their parents' attention, they still have each other. Doesn't matter. He doesn't like me anyway. Sorry. I liked it better when you wanted to marry Alf. I still kind of do. Number 7. Her Friendship with Paige Paige enters the scene as Sheldon's intellectual rival at Dr. Sturgis's lectures, but eventually becomes fast friends with Missy. It starts innocent enough with trips to the Hello Kitty store and sleepovers. However, as their teenage angst sets in, their escapades get more rebellious, like stealing George's car to run away. Think your parents know you're gone? They barely know when I'm there. Sure, they're not always the best influences on each other, but Missy proves she's got Paige's back when it truly matters. When Sheldon loses Paige at a college party, Missy abandons her own rule-breaking to ensure her friend is safe. Bradley, do you know how old she is? She said she was 18. Lower. 16? Lower. Yeah, I gotta go. As Paige shares her struggles and loneliness, Missy reminds her that she'll always be there for her. What good is being smart if you're all alone? Let's go to Sheldon's room and get you cleaned up. Mm. Thanks. Just so you know, you're not alone. You've got me. Number 6. Saving Sheldon from a Splinter 
Sheldon and Missy might be twins, but sharing a birthday and a family is pretty much where their similarities end. When Mary gets a full-time job at the church, George convinces her the twins can handle a few unsupervised hours at home. First aid kit is in the hall closet, and you won't be needing it, but under the kitchen sink is a fire extinguisher. Ooh, that looks fine. Faced with a potential danger, Sheldon is like a deer in the headlights, while Missy, well, she's more resourceful. When a simple splinter causes Sheldon stress, Missy, unable to find tweezers, resorts to creative solutions. My sister performed a medical procedure using a children's board game, while I bravely sat very still. Let's just say it's a good thing she was raised on board games, because it turns out that Operation teaches some valuable life skills. Missy saves the day, but their mother has a few questions. Why does the kitchen smell like whiskey? Family. Ask her. Oh, dear Lord! <sighs> Wait till you hear what I did to Mima. Number 5. Making the baseball team and making that boy eat dirt. Missy initially shows interest in baseball to impress her crush, but ultimately strikes out. She truly develops a passion for the sport after a hilariously impressive winning streak at the church carnival. This is a lot of fun, but why don't we let somebody else take a shot? <laughs> Missy! 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 However, she faces a devastating curveball when Dale, a team coach, initially dismisses her because of her gender. But with Connie in her corner, Missy not only makes the team, but also scores a home run against gender bias. I need you to give her the same chance you would a boy. Or what? Or are you and me going to have problems? Well, we wouldn't want that, would we? She still has some bases to cover, whether it's showing her friends there's no one right way to be a girl, or proving to the boys that she deserves her place on the team as much as anyone. She's even willing to make anyone who challenges her eat dirt. Ah, oh, well, here we go. Eat it. Eat it. Number 4. Messing with her mother. I know what you're doing. Okay. I just feel bad for my friend. That poor son of a bitch. Melissa Cooper. Missy's puzzling relationship with religion and God is tied to the belief that, much like Santa, God might be keeping tabs on who's been naughty or nice. If you're unhappy, just ask God for help. I don't believe in God. Shh. He can hear you. He knows if you've been bad or good. Like Santa, he can send you to hell. That said, it doesn't stop her from throwing in a playful jab at her mom's faith every now and then. For instance, when Sheldon asks Mary about his chances of winning class president, Missy cracks a joke, reminding her that the big guy values honesty. Whether you win or not, I think it's great that you're trying. But you think I'll win, right? God's listening, Mom. However, one of the funniest moments comes when Missy decides to read certain Bible excerpts out loud in front of her mom. She asserts she's just trying to make her happy, but Mary is too astute to believe that. That thine ox and thine ass may rest. That is it, you are grounded. For reading the Bible? The way you are doing it, yes, go to your room. Okay. I don't have a donkey, but if I did, I'd take my ass out of here. Number three, participating in a twin study with Sheldon. We all know that Sheldon's a genius, but it seems like Missy may have gotten the lion's share when it comes to other kinds of intelligence. When the siblings participate in a twin study, Sheldon nails the analytical problem-solving questions, while Missy shines in the emotional and social intelligence rounds. Must be something juicy, cause he's smiling. Anything else? It might be dirty, cause this girl monkey is sending the kid monkey out of the room. He doesn't want to go. He looks sad. Watching her bond with the scientist and describe a monkey tea party is pure joy. But our hearts sank when she explained why she thinks she developed such refined perception skills. And my mom and me mom spent all their time fussing over Sheldon. So they're like a team too. So no one's on your team? Nope. It's just me. Still, she proves brighter than Sheldon when she demands a cut of their fee. But let's just say that if she and Sheldon had approached these negotiations together, they'd be unstoppable. Well, I want half that. Which is? Hang on. Sheldon! Number 2. Missy Apologizes Season 6 hits Missy hard with teenage angst, and things haven't been too easy lately either. In the season finale, a tornado disrupts their journey as she and George drive home, compelling them to take cover. Dad, I'm scared. It's okay. We're almost home. Keep an eye out for phone clouds. What happens if I see one? Well, we got a car and we lay down low until it passes over. 
George shields his daughter with his body and they weather the storm together. As the tempest subsides, so does much of Missy's anger. In a touching moment, she breaks down and apologizes for everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I've been awful. I don't even know why. I really do love you and mom, and I don't actually hate children. George quickly reassures her and forgives, easing the tension. It's not common for Missy to show her vulnerable side, so this scene really cuts deep. George's loving response gives us hope that their reconciliation marks a promising new chapter in their relationship. I'll be better, I promise. I know you will. I love you too. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Defending Billy. Her heart is bigger than her desire to be popular. Billy, she doesn't like you. What do you mean? She's having a party at her house on Saturday. She's not going to the movies. It's a prank. Oh. I'm sorry. Dealing with her father's infidelity. She might not have Sheldon's IQ, but you can't pull the wool or chicken's feathers over her eyes. He said he saw y'all leaving there the other day. We were talking chickens. And he said it wasn't the first time. They got a lot of chickens. Getting a job to help out her family, Missy does her part when the Coopers face some money troubles. They act as a metaphor for outsiders trying to find their place in society. Who's your favorite? All of them. Mine too. And I got the job. Playing favorites. We guess she doesn't want to be mom's favorite that bad. Since I didn't cost you all that money, who's your new favorite, me or Georgie? You know I don't have favorites. Yeah, right. Okay, whoever takes the trash out first is my favorite. She thinks we're stupid. Missy the genius. Imagine an alternate universe where Missy's the family brainiac. Dr. Sturges is correct. If indeed we grew up in another universe, our sense of normality would be formed by that universe. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Helping Sheldon Find His Courage Many of us have spotted parallels between Missy and the Big Bang Theory's Penny. Both enjoy teasing Sheldon, but harbor a deep affection for him, too. Remember when Missy tried to use twin telepathy to communicate with Sheldon when he started school in Dallas? But I think Mom misses you real bad. All right. I can't hear you, so I'm gonna hang up now. Good night. Or how she sought comfort in his bed while he was in the hospital. But she displays top-tier sister qualities when both twins face big changes. She reassures Sheldon that it's okay to be scared and that the best thing they can do is face those fears head on. So what do we do? I guess be scared and do it anyway. In a moment reminiscent of Sheldon's Nobel speech, he dedicates his valedictorian address to her. Seeing Missy's face light up just melts our hearts. Missy, this is for you. What's your favorite Missy moment? Let us know in the comments. I don't need to be good at math. I have beautiful hair. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.